In this video, we're going to be looking at the brand new McFarlane Toys Space Marine from the Gold Label Collection. Hi, it's Alex from Frog Lane Studio here, where we provide free hacks, hints, tips, and tricks to ease your hobby woes. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to check out more of our content, links are just down below in the description box. In this video, we're going to be unboxing this limited edition gold label McFarlane Space Marine. We're going to be taking a look at the quality of the model, how it compares to the standard Marines that McFarlane have already produced, and stick around to the end of the video to see my honest review and if it's worth the money and whether you should be getting one. These are limited edition McFarlane models, and unless you've been living under a rock, you're going to know that McFarlane got the license for the Games Workshop IP last year, and in October they released a run for the Artist Proof Primaris Marines and the Ultramarine Salt Intercessors. Since then, the Warhammer community has gone crazy for them, converting, 3D sculpting and painting almost all of the chapters available for the Imperium of Man. It's interesting to note that this will be the second Blood Angel from the McFarlane line, only this one looks even fancier. So what exactly is Gold Label from McFarlane? All figures released in the McFarlane Gold Label collection will be highly limited and showcase in limited edition packaging with a McFarlane Gold Label collection foil label on the box. So let's get into it then. Now, this is the Gold Edition model. I managed to get this one from America and one of my Patreons very kindly sent it through. It's not available outside of the US as far as I'm aware. And in terms of the box itself, I mean, it looks almost identical to any of the other McFarlane's. It just has this very special gold label on it. So getting into the box. So on first inspection, I mean, this, if you guys can see that, this is not what I want to expect. This is going to have to be heat treated to be straight, and that sword is super wonky. Now, bearing in mind, this is a $75 item, which is about £60 in uh, British money. <laughs> to get that first out of the box is, is disappointing, to say the very least. Um, these, let's have a look. This sits just on top of the backpack, like so. Bolt pistols, uh, the plasma pistol isn't too bad. Not got that much flashing on there at all. Although, yet again, if you guys can see this here, the plasma pistol at the bottom is warped. The circular lines, or the circular holes that should be there for the plasma pistol are all out of whack as well. In terms of the actual model itself, I mean, it's got some really nice detailing on here. Um, the close-up of the scratches and scrapes are, uh, are really quite nice. They're molded into the armor. This is gonna make for some really nice battle damage that we can do on here. And if you have a look close up at the knee pads, they've got the scratches on. But the armor indents and the scratches aren't right the way throughout. So there's none on the feet. There's none on the hips and sides. Where you'd normally expect to see battle damage is on the parts that are most protruding. So yes, we'd see it on the shoulder pads here. Yes, we'd see it on the wrist guards, but you'd also expect to see it on the hands and on the feet as well. So if we were wanting to replicate this properly, you'd be wanting to see it on the feet and on the hands as well as on the face. We've got it on here, but we don't have it on this van brace here. So we have it on this van brace, but we don't have it on this van brace either. And we also don't have it on the backpack as well. You'd expect to see, you'd expect to see detailing all around here. So the quality on the main model is not too bad, but I'd expect that because these are based off of the original uh, McFarlane Marines, just with slightly different um, accents here and there. The molding overall is really nice. So I will say that in terms of the positives. So if we have a look at the molding on the shield, on the shield here, on this part here, on this shoulder pad, that's nice. The shield and molding on the knee pads, that's pretty good going as well. But the biggest thing I'm disappointed about is these weapons. These weapons are just atrocious. I mean, if you bought that from Games Workshop, you'd be taking it back. 
Now I paid 60 pounds for these or 75 US dollars and to get that quality is, is shocking, quite frankly. Um, I would want to repaint these up, but in order to do so, I would have to 3D print my own or get 3D printing from there. Now I'm not saying that this is gonna be for every single one of the McFarlane's, but for this particular McFarlane that I've bought, that for me is unacceptable. You can't have a Space Marine without Space Marine weapons. So just to give you a clearer example of these weapons, here at Frogland Studio we've made over 40 of the original Space Marines into brand new artistic figures. Now, these bolters themselves do tend to warp ever so slightly. So in terms of the barrel detail, here's some bolters for comparison and here is some of the pistols for comparison. And you can see that the pistols themselves and the bolt guns both of those molding details aren't as bad. I would be very curious to know whether this is just a one-off, whether it's a fault that McFarlane haven't picked up on, or whether this is just a one-off that's warped during cooling. The chain swords themselves, now these are two from the Assault Intercessors, and yet again, there is no discernible warp on these at all. I think where the warping has happened on this power sword is because it's so thin and flimsy. But even then, I wouldn't expect this to warp that much. I'd be interested to know whether we can get it out with a bit of hot water application, or a hairdryer for that matter, just to soften it up. Let's go ahead and find out. So after heating this up with the hairdryer and then cooling it back down, we've managed to get some of the major warp out of there. This looking a little better now. It's still a little wonky, but you can see here, this chainsaw itself is ever so slightly warped as well. So if we were using this for one of our commissions, then we'd also have to correct this as well. Not sure how the paint would hold if you were gonna repaint this, but these models themselves, if you're going to be buying them, then I doubt that you're going to be repainting them. Let's have a look to see what this model looks like all together then with the weapons on as well. So we're gonna to need to use the hairdryer. There we go. So what do I think about this model overall? Well, honestly, um, I'm really disappointed about those weapons. I'm not even gonna lie on that. But that aside, that's probably the biggest negative. The second biggest negative is the paint job on this. Isn't that amazing? On the shoulder pad details, um, the yellow trim doesn't go all the way to the edge. And there's gold overspill on a lot of this. So at the end of the day, this is still an action figure. And so as a result, some allowances do have to be made. Overall, for a limited edition figure, I mean, it's not that bad. <laughs> That's about as honest as you're gonna get from me. Am I disappointed? Yes. But if you're a serious McFarlane collector or a serious Space Marine collector, then this is by far the most detailed one that they've produced so far. For me personally, I'm going to be looking at repainting this. So I have the skills and the ability here at Frog Lane Studio to be able to recreate this in a much more detailed style. So we're gonna be looking in a future video, making this Blood Angel Space Marine achieve his true potential. So overall, would I recommend this model? Yes, if you're a serious McFarlane collector or a serious Space Marine collector, then absolutely, these are limited edition. You're not gonna be able to get these anywhere else. And in future, these are gonna be going for an extremely high price. If you're looking to paint it up yourself, then be aware of the weapons and the flimsiness of those. For me personally, I'm still toying with the idea of whether to recreate these in resin to make them a bit more stronger and a bit more durable. And in terms of the overall detailing, there may be some parts that I may alter or replace, but we're gonna save that for a new video. So overall, I'd probably give this model an eight out of 10. Would I recommend? Yes. Would I buy? 
I already have. So over the coming weeks, we're gonna send this marine off to the Frog Lane Studio Painters to get it repainted and looking as beautiful, gorgeous and crisp as a Blood Angel Space Marine should be. Maybe with a few hints of battle damage. Now, if you do want to get your hands on these models, we actually have four others of these in stock. Now, these are strictly for repainting purposes, but if you do want one of these limited edition Blood Angel Primaris Lieutenants from McFarlane, then the links to our Frog Lane Studio painting channel are in the description below. You can DM us on Instagram or email us on the About page. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe to Frog Lane Studio. Let us know in the comments section what you're interested in seeing next, as it really helps us. And finally, if you've been enjoying the videos or would like to help support the channel, I'd just like to take the time to mention that I do have a Patreon page and a massive thanks goes to all of my Patreons. You can find us streaming on Twitch on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and track our progress on Instagram. And finally, you can come and hang out with our awesome community on Discord. Links to all of these can be found below in the video description. Once again, I'd like to thank my Patreons and you guys for watching as well. I've been Alex from Frog Lane Studios. Stay safe, keep hobbying, and may you always be rolling sixes.